What's up guys, Headphones Neil here, back with my next film franchise review, and in this case it's going to be the four film franchise for Ip Man. It's a set of Chinese films about um, a Chinese grandmaster of Kung Fu, notably the Wing Chun style um, of, the same, of the same name, Ip Man. So I was, I've always, or for some time, as a bit of a history for why I watched this set of films, is that I was I, for some time I've been getting a recommendation to watch the first It Man, and I think that's the only one that I was streaming for some time. And then I found out that all four films were streaming on Netflix, so I decided to give them a watch. And in doing some early reading on the films, I found out that they all star Donnie Yen, who st stars in the title role. Um, if you're wondering why his name sounds familiar, he, and if you're a Star Wars fan, he played Chirrut in the Star Wars story film Rogue One. And if you liked his role in that film, then you will definitely enjoy his role in these films. Um, because he portrays a Grandmaster, um, as he survive, survives various ordeals and, the, um, we learn about his character throughout the films. So... From what I could tell in doing a surface level reading of the films is that he survived several ordeals, notably the um, Japanese occupation of Foshan, um, the British rule during Hong Kong, the troubles he had in starting a school, um, various issues with the students, various other um, masters of Kung Fu and various other styles. So. Overall, I found that he portrayed it very well, and it's causing me to want to go to down the rabbit hole of seeing some of the videos that have been made of him um, in real life, because apparently, um, as later in his life, he di did um, get diagnosed with cancer, so I want to see some of the videos that they made um, as far or, or the videos that were made per his request to um, share the style of to, or to share his style of martial arts and kung fu so that the Wing Chun style would be carried down per his um, training and how he feels it should have it should be trained. So I'm kind of curious to see how um, the real life it man's karate was carried over into the film to see how they compare. But I definitely recommend watching um, the films. They provide a good show of his personality that martial arts should be used for um, personal calm and self-confidence rather than in an aggressive uh, manner for fighting and showing dominance. So I, f I found that um, it was presented very well. And even though there were times when he, um, his uh, family and home life struggled it was presented well to show that he did care for his wife and um, sons and that um, he t listened to his wife very much and he cared for how he cared a lot for how she felt so he would um, not do martial arts at, with other students or other people at home or no fighting if she wanted him to give stuff up she he would do it um, there were times when she um, or he held a, high, a family in high regard over other all other stuff. So even though it meant not fighting with other um, another foe, I think like in what we see in the third film, he did want to do it, but he would he would not do anything without the approval of his wife. And when she said that she should spend time with his son, he took that seriously and to heart. So overall, very good films and definitely worth watching. Um, when you do watch them, I highly recommend watching them in the original Chinese um, audio with English subtitles because the English dubbing was not very well done. I tried listening to, I think the first one's the only one without the dubbing, the rest of them do have it, but they're not very well done. It does not very well reflect the tone and cadence of the dialogue, so um, just a bit of personal recommendation there. Um, but beyond that, I found that all the characters portrayed their roles very well. Um, there are points of over-the-top acting, even though it is most of the films are all um, released in the or post two thousand. But for the most part, the style and set design, character developments are all very well done, and um, 
the, I found that none of the sequels really fell into that whole rabbit hole of not being as good as the first, even though some of the stories didn't feel as good, and I got a, a little bit of a Rocky vibe from some of them, but that's kind of degrading the quality of those films. So overall, all the films presented various scenarios to test it men's um, personal ideals, family life, uh, when he should use his martial arts for defense, uh, restarting his school, training other students, and carrying on that while the, his style of martial arts is uses offense and defense simultaneously, you're not supposed to go out and use it to show that your style is better or worse than others or to bully other people. So, uh, and basically use it to help people from bullies who can't help protect themselves. So things along those lines. So overall, definitely recommend our, all four films. Um, I can see why um, Donnie Yen was selected for the role in Rogue One, and I kind of want to see some of his other movies or whatever else he's been in. Um, just because his uh, persona, his um, mannerisms and personality and style were very well portrayed and I now want to see the real Ip Man and how um, the actual character, the actual person style was. And I like that they didn't spend too much time with the whole Bruce Lee um, aspect of it, um, but they did sh bring up enough that to show that Bruce Lee was um, Ip Man's indirect student um, and Bruce Lee did. Um, carry over some of his styles from Wing Chun and Ip Man, so um, good, good um, carry over there and um, presentation, in my opinion. So that's all there is for this particular review. So as I mentioned, all four films are currently streaming on Netflix, so definitely worth watching there and watching in with the original Chinese audio and English subtitles for the best. Um, characterizations and translations of the speaking style and tone uh, because the English dubbing is not very well done in my opinion. I think the worst ones are the second and third ones. The last one is slightly better but still it's better to in my, in my opinion it's better to listen in the original with the original dialogue and English subtitles. So that's all there is for this particular review. So um, if you have any questions, comments, feedback, or want to get in touch with me, you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. The website's PatelN01.com for past episodes, subscription links, supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. But that, that's all there is for this particular episode. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time.